It's Hunter's Vending in the building and we live. Likes, camera, action, we about that action. If you ain't started your vending business, why you procrastinate, man? For the people that's been watching my videos, I didn't drop 50-something videos and y'all still ain't started y'all vending business. What's going on, man? But anyways, besides that, what's up with my vending family? Drop a comment down below. Let me know that everybody's good. It's been about two months since I dropped the video. But let me tell y'all this, man. Your boy's been working. I've been working. I got a lot to fill y'all in on what's going on. And uh, let's get it on, man. We're going to be talking about preparing to start your vending business since you just keep procrastinating and just keep watching me and just keep making all these excuses on why you ain't started. Man, let's get that business started, man. Get that, get, get your pen and paper. I'm about to give y'all the whole spill, the real deal, man. I want to let y'all know that I started my business from nothing. Like what I mean by that is I was from job to job. I would literally work at a job for two months, three months, four months, and just quit and go to the next job, quit and go to the next job, quit and go to the next job. And I was going crazy because I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself, you guys. I knew that I wanted to do my own thing, but I just didn't know where to start. I was making good money. I was a truck driver. You know what I mean? I was making $30, $40 to $50 an hour, you guys. At companies making two thousand to three thousand dollars a week, I mean, I was making money, but I was not happy. I didn't like the fact that somebody had to tell me what to do. I didn't like the fact that somebody can call and wake me up out of my sleep, telling me I gotta come to work. You guys, I would cry like a baby on the way to work. Like, no, they did not just call me and wake me up at three, four in the morning to come into work. I was working for Walgreens as a delivery driver, and I remember crying to my wife like a big old baby, like, I can't do this. She was dropping me off to work, said, take me back home. Take me back home. I was like, I'm going to start my business. I'm going to drive Uber. And, you know, I'm sorry, wife, I got to put you through this, but I need you to trust me. I need you to trust me. And I took a chance, you guys. Sometimes, you know, you just got to make that move, you know. Thank God for my wife stepping up, you know what I mean, and picking up the slack. And now I'm able to provide for my family. Now I have multiple sources of income, my mobile detailing business. I got a shirt business. I now, I got another truck. I got another van, I mean. I didn't tell you guys this. I just bought another van. Um, I'm opening up a detail shop. I'm going to show y'all everything that's going on, man. And everything that I do, I believe in myself. I don't think about failure, you guys. So just go for it. You only live one life. Stop doing this and do this. Move, move. When I talk about it, I do it. Whenever you guys hear me say something, I'm going to do it because I believe in myself. You won't hear me talking about, man, what if this don't? Man, what if this? No, it's got to work and it's going to work. Let's go, you guys. Get pumped up for this. Get your pen and paper. Get it ready, man. We about to get into this, and we about to make this happen, man. All them people that been talking about you, all them people that be like, you ain't about nothing, you ain't going to do nothing. Man, we about to be something. We about to... Come on, y'all. Let's do this, man. Let's go. All right, so first things first. So what do you want to sell out of your vending machines? What kind of vending machines do you want to use? All right, you got the quarter candy machines. That's what I started out with. I placed about 50 quarter candy machines all around town. And I was collecting like $500 to $1,000 a month. You know, I was like, I'm about to go full time with this. Everybody laughing at me. Everybody's clowning. You got a wife. You got kids. You know what I mean? You guys are house to house. I mean, you guys, I've been through it. I put my family through it. And I'm just thankful that we made it out of it. All glory to God. But anyways, that's what I started with. And you could also do a laundry mat. All right. All right. What else we got? We got claw machines. You know, you can sell stuffed animals. I see them at Denny's. I see them at uh, barber shops. I see them at uh, pizza shops. All right. What else we got? What else we got? We got coin pushers, which those aren't legal in certain areas. You got coin pushers that pushes the, you know, the coins over and then you win the coins that fall down. All right. You could vend t-shirts, 
You could vend eyelashes. You could vend vehicles. You could vend anything that you want to vend out of a vending machine. So Google something and figure out what kind of vending that you want to do because you can do what you want to do. All right. So next, once you determine what kind of vending machine you want to buy or you can find a local vending warehouse, you can Google that too. Vending warehouses, Google it. And you can find a vending warehouse to where you can walk in and they got hundreds of vending machines. You get a warranty. They'll come out and fix it for you because you got a warranty. All right. And you'll be taken care of. Or you can go my route and you can get used vending machines off of Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Let Go. Um, you can go to, uh, let's see. Shoot, that's that's pretty much it. Or hey, or you can call a local vendor in your area. Google vending owners in your area and call them. Call each one of them. Hey, do you have any routes for sale? Hey, do you have any vending machines for sale? Hey, uh, can I meet up with you and check it out? There's so many different ways that you could find used vending machines. A lot of people ask me that. So that's how I go about getting vending machines, all right? So watch YouTube videos, figure out how the vending machines work, because you got to remember, it's always a gamble going out getting used vending machines, and you don't know how they work. So I don't always suggest that you start off with used. Honestly, I would start off in a vending, a local vending warehouse. I'm sorry I do portray this image as if you could just go get a used vending machine, which you can, and everything's going to be okay. No, you got to get your feet wet, you know, spend a little bit of money on your first location, your first vending machine. You don't want to start off horrible at a location with a broke down vending machine because Wayne showed you, a, well, Hunter showed you a video of getting a free vending machine or a $300 machine and you thought that it was going to be good. No, go ahead and spend that $1,500, $2,000, $3,000 on vending machine and start off the right way. And then once you get your feet wet, you know, stuff start, you know, breaking down. You got to start making repairs. Now you got your feet wet. Now you can go out there and get that $200 machine, get that free vending machine and do what you got to do. Save some money. All right. So let's see what other options we got here. All right. Yeah. You can also go online and buy a brand new vending machine. Like I said. All right. Next, you want to look for a local vendor a local vendor hauler, somebody that can uh, move your vending machines around for you, all right? Or do you want to go the route that I'm going and go to U-Haul and get a pallet jack, get a dolly, and move the vending machine around yourself? Starting off, I would not suggest that. You know what I mean? Find a local uh, vendor. Find a local person that'll haul the vending machine around for you. And... Um, you want to get in, you know, you want to build relationships with these people, all right? Until you can do it yourself. And then you want to find a, a, a all-in-one guy. He repairs the vending machines. He hauls the vending machines around for you. He'll show you how they work. He'll sell you vending machines. So that's why I said Google a local vendor, somebody that got out of the business, somebody who's looking to get out of the business, or somebody that's looking to be a blessing to you. You know what I mean? I'm always looking to bless somebody. So if somebody's in the Sacramento, California area and they want to get started with the vending business, I got you. Next, you know, you want to kind of scope out what kind of locations that you want to start targeting. You know, me, I'm always on the lookout. I'm driving. I'm just like, oh, yeah, let me write that down. I'm definitely doubling back and on that one. I'm going to get that location. Yeah. All right, I'm driving, I'm driving. Oh, yep, look at that warehouse right there. All right, okay. So warehouses is my kind of locations that I like to go in and get. It's what works for me. And the reason why I love to go into warehouses because normally they're industrial areas. There's no gas stations. There's no grocery stores around. Like it's just, you know, just the vending machine and the peoples and they gonna use that thing. You know what I mean? So warehouses. And another reason why I like warehouses is because the people are more laid back there. They're in their hard labor and stuff. I walk in, you want a vending machine? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. And they're just like, yeah, man, just place it right there. Or 
um, you know, they're they're more laid back. Now, if you go into like a, a more professional business, they're gonna be like, oh, you gotta speak to my manager. Um, you know what I mean? They're a little bit more on you about it. You gotta jump through hoops and stuff like that. For me, I look for at least 15 employees. Like that's me. A lot of people would be like, no, 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 no. At least 50 and up. Me, at least 15 employees, you guys. I have locations that have 15 employees and they do numbers like 50. So you gotta pay attention to what kind of labor they're doing and also what kind of traffic is coming in. Me, I'm all about taking chances. You know, I'll see 15 employees and I'll just drop them. Let me see how it does. And if it don't work, I'm going to pick that mug up and I'm going to take it to the next spot. You know what I mean? I don't discriminate. You know, I just trust and, and believe that it's going to work. And, you know, it's worked out for me. If you haven't checked out my videos, then you might want to check them videos out, man. Make sure when you walk into these places that you come presentable, nice, clean cut, cool outfit on and make sure you walk in there with confidence like you own the place don't be don't get up in there and be like hello my name is uh wayne and i was wondering if you would like a vending. no you know i don't want no vending machine you walk in talking like that i don't take you serious but anyways you want to walk in with your business cards you don't go in there with a phone like i got this vending machine right here i was wondering if i could place it in no, been there, done that, it will not work. And if it works, you done ran into a blessing. But business cards, proposal, have your proposal ready with pictures of the vending machines, a little info about your company, hand them something. And if you want to get a little bit more, if you want to be a little bit more different, have a flyer ready. You know what I mean? No contracts. Do not get in there offering 15%, 10%, 20%. Don't get up in there and get desperate. You know what I mean? Get up in there and let them know that it's a convenience for their company. And I want to place this here for you. If they ask, let them know it's a convenience for you guys. And I don't do commission. Now, if they start pressuring you like, oh, we really want this vending machine, but we need 10%. That's what you want to start with. Just start with 10%. Start really low. If they bring it up, you do not bring it up. No commission. No Commission. A lot of people ask me about that. How much should I offer? No commission. All right. You offering a service to them. If anything, you charge them for your services. How about that? All right. You don't charge me for this. I'm, I'm going to charge you. All right. Thing that you can have ready that, you know, it just looks so, it just looks professional. Have a selection sheet ready with all the products, you know, the Cheetos, the Doritos, the Hot Cheetos. Have it ready. And, you know, speak life. I got this location. I'm going to walk in here and start handing employees some selection sheets. Like, hey, fill this out. Turn this into your boss. Let them know that a vendor came through. And let them know you want this vending machine. You know, hand your proposal to somebody that will present it for you. Slide them $50. Like, give me this location. Or I'll pay you 200 more if you get this location for me. You know what I mean? There's a whole bunch of different tactics you could use. You know what I mean? scout the area, stalk the area, see the traffic, watch the people. You got to stalk. You got to sit in your car and sit back like, all right, okay, that must be the boss right there. Okay. All right. That looked like uh, the next person that's in charge. Okay. Okay. That's an employee right there. Hey, hey excuse me. Excuse me. Come here. Hey, I was wondering if you guys have a vending machine in your location. You know, they going to give you an insight. No, we don't got a vending machine, but that sure does sound nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I got a selection sheet for you. Can you give me a little bit of information about your boss? You know, are are they cool? Are they mean? Oh, no, nah, bro. They they going to tell you no right away. The other vendor came through and he shot him down and told him no. Okay. Well, but but we really do want the vending machine. Okay. Well, you get it for me. And if you get the location for me, I'm going to give you $200. Can you do that? Here's the selection sheets. Hand this out to all their employees in there and let them know. And then, bam, I got a location like that. The employees... Got the location for me. You know what I mean? So there's different tactics. 
Hello, my name is Wayne. I'm the owner of a vending company. And I noticed that you guys don't have any vending machines in your facility. I spoke to a couple of your employees and they said that they would love a vending machine. You know, I spoke to Ryan. He said he's been, you know, he wants root beer in the vending machines. And I already handed out the selection sheets. And this is a great spot right here for the vending machine. And it does not cost you anything. What date do you want to set for this vending machine? Uh, it's free, sir. It doesn't cost you anything. And if it's a problem, I'll come back and pick it up. Let's give it a shot. It's free. How does Friday sound? Uh, sir, it's free. What, what's the problem? Why can't I place this? Here's a picture of the vending machine. Here's a proposal. Sometimes people just, they don't want to help nobody out, man. Sometimes, you know, it'll test your patience. Sometimes you'll be ready to be like, why can't I get the vending machine in here? You know what I mean? So just, you know, keep it cool. Go on to the next one. They going to say yes. They going to say no. They may call you back, you know. So, hey. All right. So next thing, where do you want to shop? Good places to shop at. Sam's Club. Costco. You know, you want to look at your local grocery store. See what kind of deals they're having. I go to like three different places. And I bounce around because they have certain deals at certain places. So find out, you know, the deals and go get a membership at Sam's Club or Costco. My favorite place is Sam's Club. You know, they sell in bulk. So that's that. So look around for that. So the reason why I haven't been uploading videos on YouTube is because I started a mobile detailing business. And what I mean by it's been a blessing, I've been making way more money doing mobile detailing than vending. So I bought another van for mobile detailing slash vending. So now I got two vans and I'm actually training somebody right now to take over one van. That's how much work I'm getting. That's how much of a blessing it's been. You know, God has really been blessing me. And I actually almost sold my whole business, you guys. That's how much the mobile detailing is taking off. It's very lucrative. So if you've been deciding to do mobile detailing, check out my mobile detailing channel, you guys. Hunter's Mobile Detailing. Check it out. I'm going to be uploading on there too. But for the people that follow me on Facebook, they see me posting my routes. They see me posting my business. Because I'm actually going to be opening up a uh, detail supply store. Hunter's Mobile Detail. No, 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 no. My bad. My bad. It's going to be Hunter's Detailing Supplies. I've actually already got the building. I'm going to be selling detailing supplies. I'm going to be doing car details there. I'm going to be selling multiple things. I'm going to be selling clothing there. And I'm just making moves, you guys. Hey. Enough with the talking, you guys. Let's get to it, y'all. Let's go. So I decided not to sell my vending business. So I'm going to keep that going. I'm going to keep growing. I'm going to keep dropping content. I'm going to keep motivating. I'm going to keep inspiring people. I'm going to keep it going, you guys. So for the people that follow me on Facebook, I ain't selling it. I'm taking everything down, and I'm going to keep rocking, you guys. Let's go. Y'all get ready for me to drop some more locations. Y'all get ready and stay tuned for the new a uh, uh, detailing store that I'm opening up. You know what I mean? So follow my other YouTube channel once again. Like, share, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Man, y'all know the drill, man. Hey, let me know what y'all want to see next. And I'm going to continue to do what I do best, you guys. And uh, that's glorify the Lord. All glory to God, you guys. You guys have a blessed night, a blessed morning, a blessed day, a blessed evening. And, uh, Let's get it going, man. Let's start that business. Let's get it. Let's go.